Okay, today is a really weird lesson. It's freaky how this works. It's one of the most bizarre things I see in algebra too. But let you tell me, what are the two ways we've learned to solve systems of equations so far? In other words, if it looks like this, we go, oh, 2x plus 3y equals 11. And, you know, 8x minus, 7, oops, minus uh, 17y equals negative 53. We can either do substitution, right, or elimination. Okay, there is a third way of doing this which is to take these and graph these. Now, I don't know if you see something like, well, let's look, look at this. If you see two equations, let's and go ahead and write these down and pause if you need to. Um, you're gonna graph these. Now, you might look at this and go, what? I don't know how to graph that. But yeah, you do. This is a y, that's an x. Just set it up to where you have y equals mx plus b, right? So let's just take this one here and kind of mash it around here so it looks like a y equals mx plus b. Well, first thing we'll do is we'll go, okay, three x, three, excuse me, three y, Move the at 2x over, that's going to be 2x plus 6. And if you divide by 3, your equation becomes y equals 2 thirds x plus 2, and that's your equation. And you should know at this point how to graph that just by looking at it and going, okay, this is my y-intercept is 2, so that's what I'm putting right there. My uh, slope is 2 thirds positive, so 1, 2 up, 1, 2, 3, dunk. 1, 2 up, and then 1, 2, 3, and then 1, 2, and 1, 2, and then so on. Okay, so you just, you know, you, you connect those dots, and I'm just going to, I'll do the best I can there, so not the world's greatest artist. Okay, the second one is y plus x equals negative 1. That's a piece of cake. You just move the x over, right? y is equal to negative x minus 1, okay? So minus 1 is your y-intercept, so that's just right there. Your slope is, if you want to think of this as negative 1, you can just do 1 over 1, right? You know that's going to be pointing down to the right. So you're going to go like this. You're going to go up 1. You wouldn't go over 1 because that would make it go like that. So you'd go up 1 to the left 1. Up 1 to the left 1. Up 1 to the left 1. You know, like that. Okay, I'll put those in there. There you go. And then there you go. So if you were to do this, I'd get a ruler. Grief, and the world's worst artist. Anyhow. You can see right here that something kind of funky happens here, that these two lines intersect. Look at that. You tell me, what point is that? In other words, what's the x value and the y value of that point right there where they intersect? They, this would look better if you were to do this, you know, nice and neat. x is equal to negative 2, right? And y is equal to 1. Well, that's the solution. You know, like back here, if you did all the substituting or eliminating and you found, okay, I got the answer, x is 12 and y is negative four, that's the same thing. You've just got the exact same thing. In fact, if you were to take those two and do substitution or elimination, you would get x equals negative two and y equals one. That is, I mean, that's like something from the twilight zone. I still can't understand how that works, but crazy fact, but it actually does work. So, okay, let's try this one. This one's kind of weird. Look at the second equation y equals negative 3. Well, we know what that is, right? That's, this is the y-axis. That's the x-axis. Here's y equals negative 3, just like this, right? Like that. Okay. Well, y minus 2x equals 2. Let's fix that up. Move the 2x over. y equals 2x plus 2. Well, 2x plus, okay, it's going to be plus 2. There's my 2. And I'll make this, this is going to be up to the right, looking like that. And 2 over 1. So, you 2 up. 1 over, 2 up, 1 over, 2 down, 1 over, if you want to do that, 2 down, 1 over, and 2 down, and 1 over, and so on, okay. Okay, and that's kind of weird looking, all right? Not exactly the most wonderful drawing on earth, but uh, you kind of, you feel me here, okay. Well, by graphing, you're going to get this. If you were to draw it better, it would look much better than it actually does. So. Uh, we say that the y is equal to negative 3. Well, what we can do is we can just plop that into here and go negative 3 minus 2x equals 2 just to check ourselves. There we go. That goes right there. And I have negative 2x is equal to 3 plus 2, which is 5. And then so x is equal to negative 5 over 2. In other words, negative 2 and a half. So my x is negative 2, 1, 2 and a half right there. Okay, and my, and my y is equal to 3, 1, 2, 3 down. Kind of weird looking, but anyway, that works. Okay. All right, let's try one. We need to have one practice problem set, so uh, give it a whirl. Pause it and try it.
Okay, well, if your x is equal to negative 1, you know, that's your x-axis. So here's your line, uh, x is equal to negative 1. So you look just like this. Ah, that's awful. Okay. This y equals 2x plus 1, piece of cake, if that's 1 is your y-intercept. Your slope is 2 over 1, so up 2 over 1, down 2 over 1, and so on. And you can tell right there, you know, if we were just to draw the line, that is where those two lines would intersect. And the x value for that, obviously, over 1 is negative 1. We already know that. It's right there. The y value for that is what? It's also negative one, right? So negative one and then negative one going down. Well, if you were to stick negative one in this equation, y is equal to two times negative one, which is negative two, plus one. Well, negative two plus one is negative one, just like we said it was. And that's just the proof that it works. So kind of a weird thing about algebra too. All right, have fun with that. See you guys later. Take care.